The subject of today's blog is 93A. That's the Massachusetts statute that has declared unfair or deceptive acts or practices in trade or business unlawful. And there is a similar statute which declares unfair acts and practices in the business of insurance unlawful, and that is referred to as 176D. Again, 176D is applicable to insurers. 93A came about uh, essentially 40 years ago, and it was originally meant to help consumers in dealing with retailers or dealing with a faulty or defective appliance. But it has evolved over the last 30 to 40 years to be a wonderful tool in the arsenal of, of your lawyer, a plaintiff's lawyer. And the reason for that is that insurance companies must adhere to principles of fair dealing in the business of insurance. And there are many uh, explanations of what constitutes unfair acts in the business of insurance. Well, one of them is failing to uh, effectively investigate an insurance claim. Another is failing to effectuate settlement and, and prompt settlement at that where liability is reasonably clear. Yet another is causing a plaintiff to institute litigation needlessly by uh, deliberately making a very small offer. Now, as I say, this provision or, or this statute has evolved over the last 40 years, allowing plaintiff's lawyers to hold insurer's feet to, feet to the fire. And it is a very good tool because, as with 93A, 176D requires a response to a detailed letter, and that response must be given within 30 days, and a reasonable offer must be made. If the reasonable offer is not made, and if you can satisfy certain conditions, the insurer is subject to multiple damages and attorney's fees. So this is a, a tool that no lawyer of yours should ever forget. I know what it is to get so-called lowballed on a case, having had a $200,000 offer for an insurance company on a case that ultimately, after the jury found in our favor, paid $7.8 million. And you can find that case uh, on the home page of my website and elsewhere. That same insurance company who, quote, lowballed me, was brought to task in the Rhodes case of, of uh, a couple of years ago. And in Rhodes, the highest court of Massachusetts showed a willingness to impose multiple damages on an insurer who acted unfairly in it, the business of insurance. So by all means, when you're ha having your personal injury case handled, keep in mind and let your attorney keep in mind 93A and its companion 176D. Thank you.